Catherine DeMille, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the film industry through her compelling performances. Whether you recall a particular moment from her works that resonated with you or have a personal story of how she impacted your life, DeMille's contributions to cinema are enduring. Her presence on screen, marked by a blend of talent and charisma, has left a lasting impression on audiences. As we reflect on classic Hollywood and the actors who shaped its golden era, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Catherine DeMille. How has she influenced your perspective on cinema or left a lasting impact on your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Catherine DeMille, the sole offspring of renowned filmmaker Cecil B. DeMille, diverged from the family's cinematic legacy by pursuing an acting career. Notably, she tended to be cast in sullen or angry roles, showcasing her versatility in portraying complex characters. One significant moment in her public life was attending the New York premiere of Lawrence of Arabia in 1962 with her husband, Anthony Quinn, who played a leading role in the film. This event offered a glimpse into the personal life of the actress, as she shared in the success of her husband's cinematic achievements. Despite being the only child of a cinematic titan, Catherine carved her own path in the film industry, leaving a distinctive mark with her portrayal of intense and emotionally charged characters. The interplay between her personal life and on-screen roles adds layers to the legacy of the DeMille name in Hollywood. In conclusion, Catherine DeMille's acting career and personal life reflect a unique intersection of family heritage and individual artistic expression. Her choice of roles and public appearances, such as the premiere of Lawrence of Arabia, provide insights into a career marked by depth and diversity. Of Italian descent through her mother, Cecile Bianca Bertha Colani, Catherine DeMille, daughter of renowned filmmaker Cecil B. DeMille, diverged from her family's cinematic legacy to forge her own path in the film industry. Beyond her familial ties, DeMille's early career saw her stepping into the spotlight in 1935, not just for her acting prowess, but also as the face of talon fasteners in advertisements. While initially slated for the leading role in the lives of a Bengal lancer, she eventually yielded the part to Kathleen Burke. This shift marked a turning point in DeMille's career, steering her towards a trajectory that showcased her versatility. Her journey reached a notable juncture in 1962 when she attended the New York premiere of Lawrence of Arabia with her husband, Anthony Quinn, a pivotal figure in the film. This public appearance offered a glimpse into her personal life, intertwining with the success of her husband's cinematic achievements. Despite being the sole offspring of a cinematic titan, Catherine DeMille's legacy extends beyond familial connections. She carved her own niche by portraying intense and emotionally charged characters, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood. The interplay between her personal life and on-screen roles adds layers to the broader DeMille legacy in the film industry. In conclusion, Catherine DeMille's journey from early endorsements to pivotal career decisions and public appearances reflects a unique intersection of family heritage and individual artistic expression in the cinematic realm. Cousin to renowned choreographer Agnes DeMille, Catherine DeMille, known for her intense on-screen portrayals, led a multifaceted life beyond acting. While carving her path in Hollywood, she delved into diverse interests, finding joy in sculpturing, architecture, and music. Unbeknownst to many, her personal life extended beyond the silver screen. As a mother, she played a significant role in the life of Valentina Quinn. This lesser-known facet of her identity adds layers to her legacy, showcasing a woman of depth and varied passions. In the intricate tapestry of Catherine DeMille's life, familial connections and personal pursuits weave together, offering a nuanced perspective on the actress. One of the six paramount protégés of 1935, Catherine DeMille distinguished herself early in Hollywood alongside talents like Wendy Berry, Grace Bradley, Gertrude Michael, Gail Patrick, and Anne Sheridan. This marked the beginning of a career that went beyond familial ties. While many recognize her for appearing in her father's films like The Crusades and Unconquered, her role as a paramount protégé positioned her as one of the promising stars of her time. This nod from Paramount underscored her versatility and potential in the competitive landscape of the 1930s Hollywood. 
Transitioning from the prestigious title, DeMille's career unfolded with distinct choices and accomplishments. Her on-screen journey wasn't confined to the silver screen, but extended to noteworthy collaborations within her family and the industry. As the sister of Cecilia DeMille, John DeMille, and Richard DeMille, Catherine DeMille shared a familial connection that influenced her trajectory in the cinematic realm. This familial network provided a foundation for her nuanced performances and collaborations. Beyond the spotlight, DeMille's involvement in her father's projects wasn't just a result of family ties. It showcased her prowess as an actress. The roles in the Crusades and Unconquered revealed her ability to bring depth to characters within the grand narratives of Cecil B. DeMille's productions. These collaborations were not mere instances of familial support, but testaments to her skill and contribution to the cinematic legacy. Catherine DeMille's journey is one of the paramount protégés, coupled with her significant roles in her father's films, paved the way for a career marked by depth and recognition. From the vibrant atmosphere of 1935 Hollywood to the grandeur of historical epics, her story intertwines with the broader narrative of Hollywood's golden era. This multifaceted actress left an enduring mark, not just as a paramount protege or the daughter of a cinematic icon, but as a talent who carved her own path in the annals of film history. Granddaughter of Henry C. DeMille and Beatrice DeMille, Catherine DeMille, known for her diverse roles, made a mark in Hollywood that extended beyond her famous family ties. Her acting career, distinct from the DeMille cinematic legacy, showcased versatility in portraying complex characters. Notably, she played Native American women in films like Ramona, Black Gold, and Unconquered. These roles added depth to her filmography, highlighting her ability to tackle diverse characters. Beyond the silver screen, Catherine's personal life intertwined with her professional journey. She met actor Richard Cromwell on the set of her father's film This Day, an age leading to a magazine article, DeMille II, in the new movie magazine. This glimpse into her personal life offered a unique perspective on the actress, adding layers to her public image. In her multifaceted life, Catherine DeMille, with familial ties to renowned choreographer Agnes DeMille, delved into diverse interests such as sculpturing, architecture, and music. As a mother, she played a significant role in the life of Valentina Quinn, showcasing a woman of depth and varied passions beyond the spotlight. From her early recognition as one of the paramount protégés of 1935 to her pivotal roles in her father's films like The Crusades and Unconquered, Catherine carved her own path in Hollywood. Her collaborations within the family and the industry underscored her skill and contribution to the cinematic legacy, leaving an enduring mark. In conclusion, Catherine DeMille's journey, marked by diverse roles, personal connections, and a rich family legacy, reflects a unique intersection of individual artistic expression and familial heritage in the cinematic realm. As we bid adieu to the luminous legacy left by the talented actress, let us delve into the reservoir of memories she gracefully etched onto the cinematic canvas. Catherine DeMille's indelible mark on the world of entertainment transcends the screen weaving tales that resonate through the corridors of time. Now, as you, dear reader, navigate the troves of recollection, consider the threads that connect you to her artistry. Reflect upon the moments when her performances stirred the depths of your emotions or transported you to realms unknown. Your personal connection to Catherine's work is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the profound impact it has on our lives. In this shared space of reminiscence, we invite you to unfurl your thoughts and memories. Share with us the scenes that linger in your mind, the characters that found a home in your heart, and the narratives that left an indelible imprint on your soul. Your words become a collective tapestry interwoven with the echoes of Catherine DeMille's cinematic prowess. As we traverse the landscape of her contributions to the world of entertainment, let us collectively appreciate the artistry that transcends time and generations. Catherine's performances, like whispers carried on the winds of celluloid, continue to resonate, shaping the narrative of cinema itself. Thank you for embarking on this journey of reflection with us. Your engagement and shared memories enrich the tapestry of appreciation for an actress whose brilliance endures through the ages. May the echoes of her performances continue to resonate in your hearts and minds. Gratefully, 